Disney CEO Bob Iger has finally given us all the details for the company's Netflix competitor, Disney+. Plus. The service will be the only place to stream movies from Disney properties like Marvel, Star Wars, and Pixar. Disney is even eliminating its famed Disney Vault and making its beloved animated classics like Snow White and Lion King available on the service. It will also have Disney's live action films like Mary Poppins Returns and Tim Burton's take on Dumbo. There will even be shows and movies from National Geographic since Disney owns that as well. Basically, the service will have just about all of Disney's family-friendly content. Much of it will be available in 4K and HDR, while R-rated content like Fox's Deadpool will be made available on Hulu, which Disney owns 60% of after acquiring 21st Century Fox. Disney Plus is set to launch in North America on November 12th of this year, with other regions coming after and it will cost $6.99 a month or $69.99 a year. To compare, Netflix plans start at $9 a month and Hulu plans start at $6 a month. And if Disney's archive of content isn't enough to make you a subscriber, there are original shows as well, including two original Star Wars shows, The Mandalorian from director Jon Favreau and a Rogue One spin-off starring Diego Luna, which takes place in between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. There will be original Marvel shows as well, all starring the original cast members. Announced shows include Falcon and Winter Soldier, WandaVision, and Loki, along with a what-if type cartoon with MCU cast members lending their voices to a show that imagines hypothetical situations being brought into the MCU, with the first episode asking what if Peggy Carter had been turned into a super soldier. Also coming to the service? Original movies like Noel, which tells the story of Santa's daughter as played by Anna Kendrick, Timmy Failure, which tells the story of a boy named Timmy and a polar bear named Total. Togo, which takes place in 1925 and stars Willem Dafoe, who must work to save his Alaskan town from diphtheria with his lead sled dog Togo. A live action Lady and the Tramp remake and a show based on Monsters, Inc. Actor Jeff Goldblum will even host The World According to Jeff Goldblum, where he pulls back the curtain on familiar objects like speakers and ice cream. Additionally, Disney TV classics like Hannah Montana, Lizzie McGuire, and Darkwing Duck will all find a home on the service, with some even getting new episodes and relaunches, like Phineas and Ferb and High School Musical. Even the first 30 seasons of The Simpsons will be exclusive to Disney+. Plus. As the launch gets closer, expect to see Disney content slowly disappear from your Netflix. Movies like Captain Marvel and the upcoming Lion King won't even see a Netflix release. They'll go straight to Disney+, Plus, along with the fan-favorite Pixar shorts like Bao, an exclusive behind-the-scenes footage, making of documentaries, and other content generally associated with DVD and Blu-ray releases. Consisting of the entire Disney Motion Picture Library, the service is expected to have a grand total of about 500 movies and 7,000 TV episodes. And all of that content will be downloadable, which means customers will be able to watch it offline, like on an airplane or subway ride. What do you think? Is $7 a month a fair price to pay for all things Marvel, Star Wars, and Disney?